you know, I'm the dude. That's what they call me, you know, that or his dudeness or Duda or El Dudorino. Got another video on stock car dude. Um, today we're gonna have a look again at the my search for the perfect chassis for a um, Porsche 356 spider body uh, where I will participate in a proxy race in Canada. Now the main problem is the wheelbase, the width and not much space uh, in front of the uh, front axle for the guide holder. Now there is one chassis that you can see here that I uh, was testing. It is from Pendle Slot in the UK. It's the Sidewinder Sport uh, Series 2 chassis, which looked really great. And I started to build it and to test it. It was my first time soldering prefixed chassis. The building of the chassis was very easy, I have to admit. My soldering skills are still to improve, but I could manage. As you can see, I started uh, with a rear axle and I soldered some uh, ball bearings into the chassis. Uh, it's a sidewinder chassis, as you can see. And the big question was, will the body fit to the wheelbase provided from this chassis or possible from this chassis? Now, from my pre-measurements, I thought it would be possible. And it was possible, basically, to uh, start with that news. As you can see here, another challenge is the whole cockpit, which is very low and goes very far to the rear. But with a chassis and with a small motor provided for the proxy race, this should be possible. Now, a little close-up picture here to see where the motor holder ends and where the cockpit starts. There is a little tiny gap of like two or three millimeters. Uh, so yes, it would work. Here, another close-up on the other side. So again, it looked very promising uh, and I was very happy to go into the right direction and I thought I found the perfect chassis for this body. As you can see here, wheelbase, everything fine. Um, the real problem started when I um, put in the motor and I wanted to put in the crown gear because the wheelbase is so small in the rear and the wheelbase of the chassis is just too wide, the gear wouldn't fit in. So the rear wheels would scratch. So it was back to the 3D printed chassis again. Um, with a lot of fiddling and the motor adjustment and the motor placement behind the rear axle. Uh, this was my next trial as I still had the chassis around. And as you can see, I placed the motor behind the rear axle and instead of the motor hole, I put in some brass to add some weight. This is the wheelbase with the 3D printed chassis and the motor again behind the rear axle it would fit in so this was it for the moment i will continue from here my pre-fixed chassis and the way i will go is the 3d printed chassis that you just saw again if you like what you've seen don't forget to press that subscribe button the cowbell uh to get a notification when my next video is out it does help the channel a lot and as always don't forget there's more to come.